So we are back in the kitchen, ooh, with Mr. Hilder. And um, wow, look at, look at this. What do we have here? Well, this is gonna be an interesting meal because I've never eaten this kind of stuff before. I've eaten a lot of meat, but um, <clears throat> this is mountain lion. Oh, mountain lion. Mountain lion tenderloins. We got mountain lions in, in the mountains here? <laughs> Cougar. Cougar. Mountain lion, whatever you want to call him. Yeah. Ran into a guy today that had shot a cat. And uh, we were BSing whatever, and he's telling me, I said, well, are you going to eat that cat or what? And he says, oh, yeah. He says, cat's good eating. I told him I never had it before. And he says, well, I'm going to skin this thing out. And he says, he says, why don't you take the tender lines? He goes, I've, I've already got some. And this was a fairly large cat. And so he gave me the choice cuts. These nice, beautiful. I, I chopped these out right on the spot. Well, thing. these are huge tenderloins. Yeah, nice. You're talking about a mountain lion. These tenderloins are well. I compare them to a deer. They're yeah. even bigger than a deer almost. They're thicker across. Uh, yeah. down the, well, a nice buck. They get like that, but they're comparable. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna package this one up, and I'm gonna cut this chunk up here tonight, and I'm gonna fry up some. Some oh. uh, mountain lion. Okay, so we're, I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to turn out. So we'll see. It sort of looks like pork, if you ask me. It's a nice light-colored yeah. meat. It smells, does. smells real good. Um, looks good. Yeah. And, I, and the, the key thing is, I'm hungry. Mr. Hilder's hungry, <laughs> and he's cooking. So, all right. Well, I will check back and see how this. We'll, 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 sh we'll share with you how he cooks it up. Mr. Hilder in the kitchen, because he's got the, the cast iron uh, pans going look at that and he's got <laughs> coconut oil and he went out to our our outside root bin where we're storing the potatoes and he's got potatoes frying up but now he wants to show you guys and gals I wanted to cook on the wood stove but it's been so warm out yeah it's like I'm not gonna start a fire yeah we'll do the wood coats stove cooking but I wanted to do this meal because this is interesting with what I'm making here so this is phase two, he says. He says, get phase two. So this is the tricks of the trade here that I use. Cast iron, coconut oil, flour, your meat. We're going to be eating mountain lion meat. you got to have a saucer. A saucer? And what you do with this is you sort of just pound the meat. I like to do it crossways. Flip it over. Do it again. This is inside inside secrets. Oh, this makes a world difference as far as the flavor goes, believe me. A lot of people would just cook venison. Venison's what I'm most versed in, because that's what I obviously eat the most. I pound all my venison like this. I will not even, I, I don't even like to eat it unless it's pounded like this. Mm. This just changes the flavor immensely. Mm. Don't ask me what it does. I just know it makes it taste awesome. I've been eating venison for like 40, Years. At birth. He didn't yeah. get that mustache by accident, people. It's and, all that uh, venison. All I know is I could eat venison tomorrow, the next day, the next day, every day. It don't matter. It but anyhow, this is how you do it. You take the edge of the plate, and actually it's sort of like, um, it, dual purpose, it tenderizes the meat a little bit. And whether this meat needs to be tenderized, I don't really know, because I've never made it before. Yeah. It's an experiment. It really does look like pork. I'm surprised. It looks like really nice pork. So in the mountains here, uh, we can hunt bear, we can hunt mountain lion, we can hunt elk, whitetail, muleys, moose, right? You can get yeah. a moose tag. So we do have abundant resources available when it comes to wildlife. Which is pretty cool. And I've eaten a lot of bear meat this way. And it is it is good yeah it's very good so then you get that heat just about right throw some meat in and you yeah. just do you just do flour right yep you don't put an egg or like nothing all, in there no, you can um i'm not in the mood for a thick egg makes it like a thicker uh you know, when you cook it a little thicker, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for that. You can do the egg. I, I, I like the partridge I did. Remember the egg mm -hmm, and the, yeah. do the same thing. I'm just skipping the egg this time. But the trick is make sure you get that flour down in those cracks that you just pounded. I sort of work it in there a little bit. 
And you can put your season in there too. Usually I don't. Usually I put it on at the end because you get the, in my, in my opinion, you get the fullest flavor when you put it at the end. Mm, okay. Get that fire about that hot. Get it about that hot. <laughs> we don't know how to, hot, but just uh, enough so that it's it's bubbling like that. Yeah. Ooh. I think it's going to make a lot of people hungry. This is going to be good. I just know it. Yeah. I'm going to get three more pieces in there. When Mr. Hilder was single, that's all he ate was basically what? Venison and fried yeah, potatoes, fried right? Potatoes. That was your basic My buddies meal? used to come over. It was so funny because my buddies would come over. And uh, they'd come home from college and stuff. And I was living by myself in this cabin out on the lake. And uh, they'd come over every night. And they'd be like... They'd sit down, and I'd I'd just be cooking up a pile of venison, and a, I had three I had two plates, a pile for the potatoes, and a pile for the venison, and I had a big bottle of ketchup. And I'm like, is this all you eat? Every night the same thing. I go, I love it. They didn't like that because they didn't like eating it so much as I did, and so they'd come over, and then there would be no supper for them to eat. So. And put that on. I like to put the put the lid on. It sort of makes that top. So when I flip it over, it cooks. It will it will turn a nice, real nice, mm. crusty brown. Crispiness is the key. And we got the potatoes going here. Yeah, those potatoes look great. And our bin is working so well. We just love it. Fresh potatoes. Looks good. We got a little late start here. I didn't get home till late tonight. And then I, I told Starry what the meal was going to be. I said, I'm eating mountain lion tonight. Ooh. And it gets well like that. Flip it over. Look how nice and golden brown that is. Nice. And it gets nice and watery on the top. Look at that. Wow, I think that's going to be good. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Mmm. Mountain lion. I can't believe it. That is really... Who would have thought that you could eat a mountain lion? And this is when I put whatever seasonings that you want to put on. Now's the time to do that. I do a little pepper. I like spicy stuff, so we'll try some Louisiana. Mm. Is this the hot stuff or is this I don't know. Cajun? It's Cajun? The Cajun stuff, Cajun seasoning and... I've got a little um, cayenne pepper too that I crushed. If you don't, you want to use some. Wow! Woo. I'm gonna try this stuff tonight. Cajun. Well, that's what he needs. <laughs> nice and spicy. <laughs> okay. Mr. Like Hilder is the taste tester. He was doing that out in the woods this last year with mushrooms. Yeah. Probably not so much of a good idea to taste test no. wild mushrooms. I wouldn't recommend it. He would recommend it. Not it wasn't. I'm not taking chance. After I read these mushroom books and they said all toxic. I'm like, I'm not and he was putting them in his mouth left and right. I kept telling him, don't be putting those in your mouth. And then we went and we got a book. And the guy at the, at the um, bookstore, he was just shaking his head. He's it like, what be, are you doing? I don't know. It just seems like ever since I was a kid, I've only, I've only been sick one time with Jared yet. But, man, I've drank a lot of swamp water and a lot of uh, cricks. It just seems like I don't get sick. I've eaten a lot of stuff. You probably have a worm in your guts or I something. Just, <laughs> so you just don't get. So I don't really. It's got worm gut. To tell you the truth, until I would become deathly ill, I just um. I don't think it affects me or something, so I don't really worry about yeah, it. Yeah, so well, much. look at him. Do you think it affects him? It may have affected him. I know it's affected him. He just doesn't realize how it's affected him. Okay, so then potatoes are done. Here's my little trick. But the handle broke off the... Yeah, you know, notice that? That's a good pan. So just put all the grease strings down there. Got a method to everything. These are bachelor does. tricks. <laughs> you learn these, these things aren't taught, like on those cooking shows. <laughs> You're not going to learn this kind of stuff. <laughs> Let all the grease strain down while you may be on to doing something else. I'm in a sort of a rush here tonight, so... Uh, I get fire turned up a little bit.
Wow, I know this is going to be good. I can hardly wait. My mouth is starting to water. Okay, oh, no, not done, not done yet. Okay, Mr. Wil Mr. Wilder. <laughs> Mr. Wilder. I'm thinking Mr. Wilderness. So it looks like, ooh, look at that. Is, that's looking good. It's funny how he can cook. This this happens sometimes. And it always surprises me. Oh, believe me, when you get hungry, you can figure out how to make, figure out how to cook. You gotta remember, folks, I was a bachelor for a whole bunch of years before I met Starry. Mm. And so, yeah, he was a real bachelor. He was a real... I shouldn't use the word savage, but he was a savage. But then, you might find this strange. Back in the early years, when I was training for tax I actually got a job at a... Um, I was a cook at a restaurant. <laughs> two different restaurants. He has some interesting tales about and that. So, uh, I learned some cool, cool cooking stuff there. And so then I met Star, and she's like, Oh, you're a cook. You know how to cook. And I'm like, Oh, no, but I like it better. Your food tastes better. <laughs> He forgot how to cook and after we got married. How to cook for yeah, many years. he really, yeah, twenty plus years he forgot how to cook. <laughs> and after she made venison a few times, I said, oh, "And fish." I'm like, not that it was bad, but just like I'm just used to my own style here. And so I cook all the venison and all the wild yep. game. She yep. doesn't. No, she's I don't allowed. touch it. Not allowed. That's not my. I'm not allowed because he has his bachelor way of doing it, and that's okay because I'm really not. I don't really eat. So let's the venison, a, or let's take a bite of this and see what it's going to taste oh, like. Looks good. Yeah. Smells good. Uh, does, it oh. does it taste like pork? Mm -hmm. Does it really? Look out. Really? I'm going back down. I'm going. That guy said he had not so much wine meat. He said most people don't want it. You better find that guy. I should take the whole carcass. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't have my truck. I had Starry's car today. It was the problem. Otherwise, I would he would have gave me the whole thing too. And I, go, I don't have room right now. Yeah, he had the Subaru. But man, this tastes good. Tastes like good, high quality pork chops. Huh? I'm impressed. Wow. I'm really impressed. There we go. Real mountain lion from the mountains.